hey guys welcome back to my channel it's your girl's tales um this is the first time i'm doing a video like this because this one hits me hard like i've always been a fan of basket mouth and his lovely family i love lc with my heart you know and i was on social media on instagram today i saw a post about from basket mouth saying that his marriage to his wife is over and that they will both uh, jointly take care of their kids and i was like is this a prank is this a joke can someone wake me up from this dream because lc has someone been has always been someone who is always happy on Instagram, you know. She even made a post six days ago about relationship and how no one is perfect and how you need to take care of your marriage and relationship. And I'm like this. So what that happened? Like, let me even read the post so that you can even see what Basket Mouth said on his post. You know, um, I, I just I just feel like something is wrong somewhere. It's it's not ordinary, you know, except it's a plank. He said, As much as it pains me to bring my personal life to the public space, this is an unavoidable situation. After much deliberations, my wife and I have made the difficult decision to end our marriage. As we move forward separately, we will walk towards we will we'll continue to work together to give our beautiful children all the care, love, guidance, and support they need. We humbly ask that you respect our privacy as we navigate through these times. I'm like, what went wrong? Like, what went wrong? These are people that people term and call um, couple goals. You know, these are couple goals of social media. And I'm like, Basquemart is not one to really talk about his family. I don't really see him. But... Some, someone told me that he's not always he doesn't really you know show emotions in pictures that um something might have been wrong you know from the onset but i was like look at them they look happy like elsie elsie ah oh my goodness i'm like is this a publicity stunt because just recently two hours ago after you know i saw this post two hours later i saw a, a video from elsie advertising um bright color paints um uh, that's like you know she's into real estate so that's like the uh fittings aspect of the business where they paint or for um buildings you know for renovations and all i'm like is this a pr stunt i know um bright that's bright basket mouth has some shoes you know um coming up i was like is this a pr stunt because if this is a pr stunt this is a wrong pr move like who is advising these people to use such a sensitive matter as a pr stunt it's going to back uh, backfire because Sheila did something like that, I think, last year. And we know that that did not come out well. You know, that did not come out well. People were just against it. You don't do that. I just remember in September, um, Elsie made a post on Basket Mouth's birthday. They said, it's my baby's birthday today. The love of my beautiful life, my best friend, my ride or die, my joy and happiness. I celebrate you today and I wish you many more awesome years ahead and God's endless blessings. I love you till eternity. For a woman to tell you, I love you till eternity. There's nothing wrong going on. So we find they might have their disputes and all. But for a woman to tell you, I love you till eternity um, in September. And a guy is coming to post in December that they've ended their marriage. It's either she's a great pretender or she's or something just went or something is wrong or this is indeed a prank because i cannot even wrap my fingers around it to be honest you know people started bringing up different allegations that somebody must have cheated um that uh, uh, uh bright has never really been you know forthcoming about what he's gonna say he has he's a personal person you know he's a he, he's not he's not doesn't he doesn't really talk about his marriage like that you know but people started bringing out allegations that maybe the new baby is not bright's baby um uh maybe he had a dna test done you know so many allegations or whatnot i was like the problem should not be what caused them to separate the problem should be why are they separating you know why is it now you know six days ago uh elsa was on social media was on instagram dishing out relationship advice you know so this you know talks about how people are being deceptive on instagram how people have been deceptive on social media so you don't have to um idolize anybody to be honest if my marriage is not perfect i remember when i just got married um a week into my marriage or a couple of days at night my husband was playing on fifa with his friends they were playing it online and i was like at night I, I felt disappointed because my expectation was like you know um at night with my husband i'm supposed to be cuddling my husband and all and my husband is online 
playing um, games with his friends at night. It wasn't a recurring thing, but just that very day, I was uh, disappointed. And when I spoke to my elder brother about it, he was laughing at me. He was like, this guy is just trying to be happy. So do not cut it short his happiness because of your expectations. And that's what people do. People try to cut short people's happiness based on their expectations. Look at how pretty this baby is. And I feel this baby looks like her first daughter, you know. And even if everybody's saying that, not everybody, some people are, you know, saying that uh, maybe a DNA test was done. I'm like, that is a very rash decision to make. Because as of September, they were happy, you know. For her to make that post on his in, on on his birthday, they were happy. So even if you did a DNA test and you found out, did, 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 it's a very rash decision to just come up to social media and end the marriage, you know. Someone even said that this post has been you know done before, because if you look at the post, the wordings, I think it's something I've actually read on Insta blog before. I can't even remember who posted it or who made such lines. Did he copy and paste someone else's separation notice? Because if you did that, that's a very dumb thing for you to do. Sorry to say. You know, is it that you cannot craft your own words? You know. So, I don't know if they're trying to generate traffic for their business or generate traffic to their page. Because I know the wife, I've patronized her several times. She owns um, one grilling um, business where they do fish and um, chicken. So, I've patronized her. I've forgotten the name of the, the handle. But she's doing very well for herself. And her influencing game too is also, you know, it's also increasing she's having a large following on instagram as well so what could have been the matter this cannot be a cheating issue because we've never really heard of bright you know seen somewhere with someone else or she you know i don't really know what 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 must have happened what must have transpired we are waiting to see the outcome he has disabled his comment section on that page but trust nigerians now you know the carry last they've gone to other posts to comment and ask how far people started binding and casting the divorce in <laughs> nigerians when we love our own we love our own like people love basket mouth and i just pray that he's not trying to pull a fast one on us i just pray that this is i pray it's a prank but I'd, i'm disappointed you know that he's trying to he's using that to generate traffic to his page i'm highly highly disappointed if he's actually using this to generate generate traffic on his page because why would you want to uh, and i don't know why the men are the ones coming out now look at gideon okiki, okiki and the wife dera like they were so happy they had two sons in fact the wife just had a baby i think a year ago too you know and all of a sudden we, the, the husband came to social media and posted that they're no longer together you know before it used to be the ladies that used to post this thing i remember when to the kids were savage they were all doing videos and all it used to be the women that this grown to that will come out and post now the men are taking the bull by the horn and coming to say oh i'm no longer together with this person no why is that why is it a thing i think in marriages these days this our generation we are just self-absorbed we are we, we bring expectations into our realities and we don't try to look for um a common ground everybody wants to hold on to his own ideologies and i think these are the things that are affecting our marriages today my marriage is not perfect i know that there are some things that i would say that doesn't go down well with my husband vice versa but i feel we've been able to because we've been friends before we got married you know we've been able to manage the weather and these people were not like look at um anita okoye and the husband they were friends before they got married look at um you know as in that's p square look at this lady see how how look at them hands, handsome sorry how peaceful they look i remember the comments on this her caption on this post and she was like bright and beautiful obviously his name is bright and she's beautiful i actually just pray that they that that this is a stunt and if this is not a stunt i pray that they come back together and um, for the well-being of their kids, they just had a baby for crying out loud, you know. For the well-being of their kids, if it's um, if it's not a life-threatening issue, they should please reconcile with their fans. Actually, looking forward to them reconciling because we love it when we see these happy endings. We love it when we see these people happy and smiling. It gives us hope that oh, our own can also be, you know, good as well. So many single people idolize these celebrities, and when um, their marriages don't work. It gives them a sense that, oh, this marriage thing, you know, they work, you know, and before you know, they begin to have a certain kind of um, perception towards marriages. Marriages work, you know, and I believe that our marriage will work. And um, anything that will hinder our marriage not to work, ah, it's a prayer I'm setting now. Anything that will hinder our marriage not to work, we begin to cast and bind it from now on, you know, because these stories are just becoming too frequent. By the time you just finish reading about someone else's separation and divorce story, 
another one comes and hits you like the one that even hits me the most was um anita browse that's Tokyo Makinwa's makeup artist and Emmanuel Lukubese. Like those people, they are, they are wedding. My husband would have attended the wedding itself because they went to the same school. He went to USIU as well, you know, but he didn't go. The wedding was held in Abuja. And like, Omo, that way, that, that's the solution of marriage hits me. But it is well. See you in the next one. I remember your girl's tales. <laughs> Bye.